Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Famous Covers Marvel Divas line of Scarlet Witch, another 8 inch posable action figure with authentic fabric costume. And as ever, we can see the uh, nice artwork on the front. Got a little bit of a tear where there was some sticker on there, I think, at some point. And we can see the Avengers comic that uh, this costume's based from. And this one costs 40 cents, so this is a little bit later than some of the others. This one came out in 2000, so this is one of the later figures. And as you can see on the back, no Aunt May, which is brilliant. We've got a nice picture of Scarlet Witch instead. We've got a CE sticker on there, so it's obviously been imported into the uh, Europe. This box is actually a little bit wider than usual, because this figure has a massive head, which we'll come to in a sec. And as ever, it opens up, and there you can see the bio. So this then is Scarlet Witch. Now this figure and Psylocke are probably the easiest ones to get. You will see these on eBay pretty much all the time for a fiver mint in box. They're uh, not very sought after at all and there's fair reason for that because some of the female characters on these weren't very good. This one has one major flaw but the rest of it's not too bad to be fair. But that major flaw is so major it causes real problems with this figure. So let's start on a positive. This figure has probably the nicest cape that we ever got with the famous covers. This is like velvet, it's double thickness, it's lined with this shiny stuff. Absolutely brilliant cape. And it's velcroed on so it will come off if you wanted it to. He's got the tight PVC costume with a whatever this is legs and arms, is it like her or something, I'm not sure. On the feet, instead of having boots or anything, it's got plastic moulded boots for where the ankles go to, and then the rest of this is this shiny uh, plastic material. Uh, it stands up reasonably well, the ankles aren't too bad on this. Um, same with the wrists, she's got the moulded hands, no fist on this one, so that's pretty good. And again we've got the plastic material for the cuffs. Um, this is where the major flaw is. This is a sculpted hair instead of having real hair, which all the other female characters do. Which is kind of okay, however this block of plastic is so heavy it just it makes the figure completely top heavy and makes her nigh on impossible to stand up. This, uh, this really is a problem. It's going to prove me wrong and stand up now. There, well, there you go. It does stand up. but. It's very top heavy and it won't stay for long. So taking a closer look at her face, she does have a very, very good head sculpt and the paintwork on the eyes in particular is very, very good. This top bit is all uh, plastic. It does bend slightly. But with the hair being such a big solid lump, it doesn't really move very well. And like I say, it does make it extremely top heavy. So if you can get her to stay stood up, she's actually a very, very nice looking figure. I mean, you've got to get past the hair thing, but that cape does make up for it. That cape is absolutely fantastic. So this has been Luke with Scarlet Witch from Marvel Famous Covers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.